And with this lower threshold of activity, people cope probably in a combination of two ways. One way is to do activity avoidance. And activity avoidance, the example I use is, you know, if every time you went to the gym, you felt rubbish for three days after, why would you go to the gym all the time? On the flip side, a lot of people do what's called this boom-bust cycle, where people have what they say is good days and they say they've got bad days. And often on the good days, they try and take advantage of the energy that they haven't had before. So they tend to kind of overbook their days, do the cooking, the shopping, the laundry, everything together, and then that comes with like a bit of a payback. We often ask patients to wear a pedometer or a fitness tracker, something that kind of quantifies at least your physical activity. The other things we would look at is activity and, and the reaction to activity. So for example, in this person's diary, they've gone to the shops and they've gone to ballet and you think, yeah, that's pretty active, but then they've had a two hour nap and they watched a lot of telly in the afternoon and then they've gone to bed pretty early. So really it might have been that they spent lots of energy in the morning and have had to pay for that in the afternoon. So then the question is, how do we not run on empty? And that's what we call activity pacing. And that really is thinking about one tank of energy and making sure that we're not running on empty. So what we aim to do in treatment or in, in, in management programs is, first of all, identify what type of pattern you're doing and once we've identified those patterns, then try to really work within your threshold, work within that yellow line so that things are consistent. And the way we say it in treatment is usually if you spend comparable amounts of energy day to day, then you should feel similar day to day. And once we've established that consistent amount of activity and energy, then we can very gradually start to build this up with graded exercise or um, graded activity phase.